Hello, hello, good to see you. You get fairy dust, I get fairy dust. Little Amelie, she's right here, she gets fairy dust. And we are reading out of Codependency No More. Wait, nope, Codependent No More, Melody Beatty. Amazing book. We are on page, uh, for those following along, still on page 44. And we're talking about codependency characteristics and we're on controlling. Okay, so many codependents try to control events and people through helplessness, guilt, coercion, threats, advice giving, manipulation, or domination. Now, <laughs> if you're still in denial about your codependency, which you probably are not since you're watching this, but I would look at that before I was as conscious as I am now. And I would say, um, oh, thank God I'm not any of those. Like, oh, like that must be, mm, who are those people? Like, oh my God, that's terrible. <laughs> but let's look a, bit, a little bit closer. <laughs> um, try to control events and people through helplessness. That is when an adult person um, either acts helpless, like with intent where it's actually, um, I don't know, I don't know, this just popped in my mind, but it's just like, you know, I can't go because, you know, we can't go because, uh, it's too hard for me or uh, you know, I hate crowds and uh, da, 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 cause I don't want to go to a thing. You know what I mean? And, and a lot of the, just know, like a lot of this is unconscious. It's very unconscious. I used to do this thing and I, this is, this is like truly, <laughs> if I were to look at my life and say, okay, that's a growth bitch. I used to do this thing cause I was really programmed that um, if you were gonna go on vacation or do a fun thing or plan an event or go on a fucking picnic or what, go to the beach, whatever, that it was supposed to be perfect. And that when it wasn't perfect, it was all ruined. So, um, and I know I say that word weird. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce ruined. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Uh, okay, so, um, and this was a consistent thing with me. And, um, and, and if you notice, there's also blame in there too, because it's like you're walking on eggshells and then the minute somebody gets on the eggshell and breaks it, it's like, I knew I, knew I should have planned a vacation with you. I knew that, like, I, like, I can never, you know, why can't we have nice things? <laughs> so fucking dramatic. Oh my God. And, but I was truly upset. I wasn't like, um, intentionally like, Ooh, let me wait till something goes wrong and then I'm going to lose my temper and then I'm going to act like everything's ruined. It was never that. It was always like, you know, because again, I was, I, I was like, you know, and again, the control, like the control of like, it's, it's supposed to be perfect. It's got to be perfect. It won't be a good memory unless it's perfect. I, I've got to be the perfect person. You've got to be the perfect, you know, spouse. You've got to be the perfect kids. Like, you know, and if we, if we, God help us, if we leave, leave late, <laughs> but guess who was ruining the thing? Like, guess who was ruining it? It was me. It was me. Not only for my like, Oh, what was me? Like, it's all gone to hell in a hand basket. Um, I, I know I'm actually making fun of myself a little bit, but it was actually a serious problem. <laughs> um, but looking back, it's humorous to me, just like any any mental thing in my past. It's just like, oh yeah, I, I did used to do that. Like that was, I'm glad I healed from that. Cause it's, these are wounds, remember. These are all wounds as well. So don't forget that. But um, it, it was, it, it, it's manipulative. It's still manipulative and it's, but it's completely unconscious, like I said. So, okay. So helplessness, guilt, uh, you know, it's just like, if you hadn't have done that, then, you know, again, using this example, there's so many examples from so many different kinds of things, but it's just like, like if you went on a date and the person was late, like we would have like that same thing in me of like, this is ruined now. Um, but just guilt of, of, uh, 
you know, I've been waiting for a half hour. I'm now I have like my, my blood sugar's low because we're gonna get to dinner late, and you know, just that kind of shit. And then uh, coercion. That's usually not me, uh, but uh, and threats. That's usually not me, but other codependents do. And like I said, don't forget when you're doing these, you're you're circling the ones that seem true right now. And in these that have lots of different ones, you can circle the ones that you recognize in you, not other people. We're not taking other people's inventory. We're taking our own inventory. Um, advice giving, oh, bitch. <laughs> um, what am I doing right now? <laughs> Hopefully, I'm sharing my experience, strength, and hope and not giving you fucking advice because that is fucking useful, useless. Oh, look, a little Freudian slip there. Um, advice giving. So if like somebody's running late and we're like, you know, making them feel guilty or whatever, we can be like, um, I've got an idea. What, and this is so passive aggressive too, but why don't we set, why don't you start setting like alarms? Like this is something that I do. I set alarms and I set timers and blah, 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 blah. It's like, it's, number one, it's not the time for that. It's, we're dealing with an issue. But again, remember for the codependent, it's this need to control the situation and need to get it right back to the way that it is supposed to be going. And again, can, can you just hear it? Like that's the eggshell, like that's the eggshell, that control, those are the things that we make people walk on eggshells for. Um, I may have already said this in one of the other videos, but I do remember packing for a vacation and my kids were older elementary school or something, maybe even younger middle school, but um, packing, you know, little chaos, you know, that chaos right before you go or whatever. And then m my daughter just looked at me and she goes, why are you yelling at us? <laughs> I didn't even know who I was. I'm, and of course it was, I'm sure it was meant like, I'm not yelling, meaning that I truly didn't feel like I, I was yelling. Again, that's another growth thing. If somebody says, why are you yelling? I just be, I just mostly say, oh, I must be yelling as opposed to, I'm not yelling. I'm not yelling. I'm not yelling. Um, but again, that's that tense, that like uh, manipulation, you know, just trying to play little games or, or whatever. Um, but th again, these are any, any, any events. I'm just picturing, let's, let's say that there was a, a, a birthday party and there was a husband and wife or, um, a couple, uh, let's take gender, gender out of it, like a couple. And one of the members of the couple was like, um, you know, like since the other person didn't wake up, I'm going to, uh, not iron the shirt or something, you, you know what I'm saying? Like not do the helpful thing that you always do, but now you're not gonna do it. Or domination, uh, a lot of us can't uh, r relate to that one, but some of you may, I don't. But, but, um, but I, I will say, I will say, if I took a closer look and spent some time and would be like, well, how did I dominate my family? I would say like, well, I think I would just say like, well, I would manipulate them, give them advice, <laughs> maybe make them feel a little bit guilty or ashamed. That's not mentioned here, but shame is another one. It's like shaming people for being human. Um, so that's all that. And, and again, just circle the ones that seem true, but it, I, I just want to send so much love because this is hard work. Again, this is why most people aren't interested in healing because this is hard shit. It's hard to look at these things in ourselves. It's one thing to see them in other people, but to see it in ourselves is quite uh, sobering in and of itself. And so um, hopefully if you see any of these behaviors inside of you, it'll be like your... Um, you know, call to action. It's like, I'm not doing that anymore. Like I'm not doing that and recognizing and understanding like you can't heal it unless you know what it is. Next one, eventually fail in their efforts. Oh, there, this is the continuation of the one before from my example, eventually fail in their efforts or provoke people's anger. So eventually fa fail in my e efforts. Um, one thing I was going to mention that 
one reason why I don't fly off the handle now, like when things don't go as they need to go. And it's not so, I never think of it as like, I want to control my family. It's mostly like, I just want to get to the airport on time. That's my thing. I want to control that. <laughs> I want to, I want to get there early. Like, I don't want to have to worry, blah, blah, blah. I'm one of those annoying people that gets to the airport way too early. <laughs> How many times have I said, wow, we're here early. <laughs> this is so many. But fortunately, I have a partner that does the same thing. Not as early as me, though, which sometimes leads to the, um, um, but I'm better. I'm better at that, way better. Um, but we will eventually fail in our efforts. We will, because that's the nature of efforts. <laughs> efforts will always have failing. And so one of the reasons I am better at this now is because I have an imperfection practice. I have an imperfection practice. I, some people have yoga practice, some people have a, a meditation practice. I have an imperfection practice. And in fact, it's on the Bichifesto, the Advanced Bichifesto that I wrote on my website. And it says, Advanced Bitches have an imperfection practice. If you want to be an advanced bitch, you must have an imperfection practice. And that means that when things go wrong, and they will, and it's an acknowledgement that things will ultimately fail. And when they do, you get to count it toward your imperfection practice. And you can be really proud of yourself that, oh, this is imperfect. Of course, this is imperfect. You get to use your tool, of course. Of course, this is imperfect. Um, there's no way for it to be perfect. Um, it was a setup to have it, to assume that it would be perfect. Of course, things are going to go wrong. Of course, the kids are going to go into a fight. Of course, I might end up with a little, in a little, um, you know, argument with my husband. Of course, we're going to lose, you know, the keys. <laughs> like, of course, of course, of course, because things are imperfection, imperfect by nature. Like that's life, life is imperfect. And we get to count those things. It's like, oh, this is imperfect. And so that makes it good for us. And it's acknowledge of imperfection is good. Doesn't mean we're not striving for excellence. Um, it doesn't mean that we're not going to do something, we give it the best effort that we can, but we must acknowledge that it will be uh, imperfect. And the other is we do things imperfectly on purpose and it's kind of like a little rebellion. So, um, provoke people's anger. That just reminds me of like that blame thing that I mentioned. I'm not the only one who does it, but it's just like, well, if you would have gotten out of bed on time, then th none of this would be happening. That's blame. That's provoking someone else's anger. Um, I am very sarcastic. It's one of the things that I've worked on to heal, but I'm still not good at it because I can still hear it in my voice sometimes. Like I can even, even like giving the examples, like this, this sentence has been said so many times in my office by me. I said, I'll explain the tool. I, I'll teach them how to use the tool. <laughs> and then, you know, or like we'll work on a script <laughs> and then, um, I'll say something like, I can hear that the way that I'm saying it is sarcastic. And so it's not supposed to be sarcastic. <laughs> like it's sarcasm is like woven into my vocal cords. <laughs> like it's just like, it's just so used to saying it. But remember sarcasm is not allowed. Sarcasm is not allowed because sarcasm comes from the root word um, for it's Greek for flesh cutting. We don't want to be cutting anybody's psychological flesh. That that life is over for us. Um, but it was it was enjoyable at the time because a lot of us are like really good at it. And that goes back to provoking people's anger. Oh, a sarcastic, just you know, it'll drive people like the, you will see the steam coming out of the ears. It'll be like a cartoon, <laughs> like the way we like can turn the knife. Um, Again, you, you can see that for me, recovery is a joyful experience. I do not feel guilty about the shitty things that I've done in the past because I know that I didn't know how to do it a different way. It's only through doing my advanced personal growth work that I did. And so, um, again, even though sometimes this pushes our button of like, oh, I don't like to think... It took me the longest time to understand that all the shit I was doing was manipulative. Like, I wasn't being manipulative. That's other people. I'm not manipulative. 
but actually if you if I would look like the setup of thinking something's supposed to be going perfectly that is manipulative because that's not reality and that's a setup for other people and so a setup is manipulative by its very nature a setup is you know and and holding people to impossible like if I have a kid with ADHD which I did uh and and I, and if we're packing and I get I lose my shit because that kid didn't can't find their shoe. That's on me. That's my shit. <laughs> like no shit. <laughs> Your ADHD kid can't find his or her shoe. Like that's just that just comes with the territory. And for me to think that on the day I'm going to go on vacation that all of a sudden that you know, hardship of our kid, that challenge for our kid is not gonna rear its head and that for some, you know, that's insanity and that's a setup and that is manipulative. Um, anyway, I hope this is helpful. We're just gonna keep going. How many more pages of this we have? <laughs> I've been on this page for like five videos. Um, let's see, we've got a few more, pa oh my gosh, it goes on and on. Okay, we've got like maybe like five more pages, but it's worth it to kind of really understand. And I don't know if you're like me, like when I went through that book, it was like, blah, 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 like real fast. And so sometimes that's not actually helpful. So hopefully this is helpful. Okay, love you. Talk to you later. Bye.